Hello friends, my name is Julie. Welcome back to Pages and Pens. Today I am here to discuss where I am in my writing process. Let's jump right into it. It's been a little while since I've updated everybody on where I am in my writing slash querying slash road to publication process. So I'm here as an update. If you've been joining my productivity sprints on Sunday nights, which I hope you have been doing, you probably know what I'm working on already, but I am currently getting my query package ready on my women's fiction, my adult contemporary novel, and I am really excited to see how this one goes. I had been querying my urban fantasy slash contemporary fantasy and that was also an adult series and I'd been working on that for a very very long time a lot of you know that so I am letting that one sit for right now I am going to be looking into querying my contemporary fiction which is kind of exciting because I have two of them I have the one that I did for Nano this past year and then I also have the one that I did for Nano the prior. So Nano 2019, I wrote a contemporary, and Nano 2020, I wrote a contemporary. I have edited and ready to go out my contemporary to query, my first official contemporary that I am querying. And I have a lot of hope and a lot of excitement over the querying process for this particular novel. I'm nervous because I'm worried about the state of publishing right now, the fear of being a debut traditionally published author in the world of COVID and not knowing what that looks like. But I do think that this book, this story, and these characters have a really good shot of hopefully landing myself an agent. That is the goal. So right now I am in the middle of getting my query package ready. I have a list of 150 so agents that I'm ready to send out to that I have ranked. Um, if you're interested in like how to go about looking up literary agents and figuring out who to query when, Caitlin Duncan has a great series on that. I am not as prolific on that particular topic, but I will go over a little bit of what I've done to prepare. So in terms of this novel, I wrote it in 2019. I let it sit. I worked on my contemporary fantasy and querying that one, went back to it and started editing it. I sent it out to a beta reader and a critique partner. I got their feedback while I was actually doing Nano 2020 and writing a different contemporary. So when Nano ended, I jumped right into edits for that other contemporary, which means in December, I started the edits on the one that I'm about to query. I started those edits, ran through all of those, um, sent my first 50 pages back to my critique partner who let me know some feedback on the first 50 pages, which is usually the most somebody is going to ask for when you are querying agents, and then made sure that the rest of my novel was ready to go if I got a request for a partial or a full. So then I dove into finding literary agents. I personally use Query Tracker. I also use Manuscript Wishlist. I go through hashtags and I look up agents and I have a spreadsheet with the agent name, how they want submissions, whether it's email, whether it's a form submission, I link to their email, I link to the forms. I also put how long it takes them to respond and I also have what exactly they request. So whether it's 10 pages of synopsis and a query letter, whether it's just a query letter, whether it's 50 pages and a query letter, whether it's a one-line pitch, etc., so that I know exactly what needs to be done for each of those agents as I go through my spreadsheet. And then I also have whether or not I'm allowed to query other agents from their agency, like rules and protocols per each agency, that's all in my spreadsheet. And then I'll be able to say exactly when I query them and I'll have a date in there for when I need to either nudge them for a response or know that if they haven't gotten back to me by that point, they're probably not interested and I can move on to the next agent. Also have a list of dream agents and then agents that maybe just want a query letter that I will put in my first round of queries so that I can test my query letter and make sure that that is strong because if none of the agents want pages based on my query letter. I probably need to work on my query letter a little bit. I also have some quick responders who respond in days to two weeks. I have those in the first batch of queries that sent out so that I can get some initial feedback really quick instead of waiting for an eight to 12 week response and not knowing if my package works. When you put together your query package, at least for me, I am working on getting my initial pages ready to roll. 
I usually have a doc with the first five pages, the first 10 pages, the first three chapters, and the first 25 and first 50. And I'll have those already piecemealed out so that I can attach them or copy and paste into forms as needed. I will also have a synopsis. I'll have a one page synopsis of my book and then if they don't want a one page, they usually want a one to five page or one to two page. So I have a couple different versions of my synopsis of my novel ready to go at any point so that I can go into more or less detail as needed. I also have a back blurb for my novel, a one sentence pitch for my novel, and a tweet pitch for my novel in case I enter any pitch wars or like online activity with Twitter so that I know it fits within the tweet parameters of characters. And that's kind of my query packet, right? So that's everything that I could need while trying to sell this book. I am in the early stages of drafting a lot of those things. And then I'm going to send them to my critique partner so that they can look over them and make sure that those letters and those synopsis synopses and everything are as strong as they can be. Because I want to give the book the best chance that I can. And for some agencies, you have one shot and they share it with the whole agency. And if you just tank, that's it for that agency. It is stressful, <laughs> but uh, that's kind of where I am right now. So I'm currently working to get this book ready to send out and query, which is an exciting time and a nerve wracking time. I know you guys went through the whole submission process with me for my contemporary fantasy. I know that you have looked at my rejection letters with me. And it's not that the rejections are taxing or difficult. And really the hardest part is done. I have my list of agents. But now I have to sit down and put my butt in the seat and actually send out all these packages. And sometimes they're very, very arduous. Um, you get really random questions on some of these forms. Some of them I don't see the bearing of, but I guess they just want to set themselves apart from other people. Now I know to expect anything, but some of the forms have questions like who I would dreamcast my main character with and what my book's theme song would be. There's a lot of uncertainty when you're filling out these forms. You're kind of putting it out there and just hoping for the best. There's a lot of different things that you need to look for when you're querying something in women's fiction because it could be upmarket women's fiction, it could be upmarket fiction, it could be book club fiction, it could be adult contemporary. The only thing I really can't market it as is straight romance because it doesn't fall into the same qualifiers of a traditional straightforward romance. And not only would I be misrepresenting myself to the agent, but the book would be misrepresented then to the readers and they would be expecting something that they weren't going to get. There's a lot that I need to look at when I'm looking for agents and I'm looking to query because there's a lot of little keywords that they might not come out and say women's fiction, but if they say upmarket or book club, then usually my book would fit into those parameters. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. If you're curious why I've been a little bit more quiet here in terms of booktube content, or a lot of my writing content being just these sprints, it's because I've been working really hard behind the scenes to make sure that I'm ready to query, just really diving deep into making sure I give this book the best chance possible when querying, because I had this expectation and this understanding with the contemporary fantasy that it was not going to be everybody's cup of tea. And it might not be the most marketable book from a traditional publishing standpoint. And I knew that chances were slim that as a debut author, I would get agented, agented with that book. I went forward with faith and with hope but I knew realistically that probably was not going to be what landed me an agent because it's a more difficult genre. When you look at things like contemporary fantasy, you're getting a lot of like Cassandra Clare, Sarah J Maas are established and are kind of already doing it. I didn't think that I was going to really break that, break that wall and get in there as a debut. It's also my first attempt at a full novel and I love it. And I think that there's a home for it eventually, but I really didn't believe that I was going to get agent in with it. I had hope. I, I went out there with like the best of intentions, but I do have this expectation for myself that this is a more marketable book. It's a more marketable avenue. If I somehow fail to get an agent with this book, I think it will affect me a lot more than querying not being successful with my contemporary fantasy, because I do think that this is a book that fits the market right now and that should appeal 
to editors and agents because I trust in my voice and I trust in my characters and I trust in this story. I'm nervous. I'm more nervous querying this book than I have been querying the contemporary fantasy because I have higher expectations for this actually hopefully being able to land me an agent. Will it? I don't know, but I have hope. And at the very least, once this one is starting to be queried, I have another contemporary women's fiction that I need to start editing and start working on. I have other things going on behind the scenes as well that I will hopefully be able to talk about at some point soon. So there's a lot that I'm juggling on my plate right now in terms of writing. I'm also reading a lot, but you'll see that I'm not really talking about it all that much. I am hoping to film some booktube videos coming up soon, but for right now I'm just kind of enjoying books where I can in between working on my own and if the focus needs to be on reading versus writing or working on my career I'm obviously going to pick my career. I will say I've been very very lucky with critique partners and with beta readers. The feedback has been very helpful. It has not been all necessarily like sunshine and roses and positive. There's definitely been room for growth and correction and feedback and that's been phenomenal and that's true for my contemporary fantasy and this women's fiction. I've been very lucky that I haven't had people that are just placating me and saying this is amazing. They've been giving me really constructive feedback and I've been able to apply that and use it to make the books better. I know for a fact uh, based on critique partners looking at my first 50 pages after their feedback that I've made the book stronger between the first round when it went out and this round when I'm querying. So I feel really good about it and I'm hoping to take you guys on the journey of querying this book as well. I know when it comes to traditional publishing that there's a lot that can't be discussed right away, but as much as I can I'll be sharing this process with you and hopefully, you know, if things go silent it's a sign of something good coming that I just can't talk about yet. I'm gonna get back to work working on my query package. If you have any tips, tricks, or advice for query packages definitely let me know down below. I have watched so many YouTube videos on query packaging and the querying process and what agents are looking for and how to make myself stand out. But if you have any little like tidbits of advice, I'm always open to them. Thank you so much for supporting me and continuing to encourage me as I go through this journey. I appreciate it so, so much. But I wanted to give you guys an update because it's been a little while since I've been able to touch base and just say, hey, I have this thing that I am attempting to get out and query. Hopefully by March, I'm querying this novel. I know by March I'll be querying this novel. And uh, hopefully there's a lot of really great feedback and I can do, uh, you know, a video that maybe doesn't discuss more rejection letters, but in all likelihood I know I will be. <laughs> so that is it for right now. Thank you for watching this and for being invested in my updates and my stories and my career. I appreciate you so, so much. Remember to check out all of the Writer's Hive videos if you were interested in more advice, tidbits, tricks, from writers and to join me in my productivity sprints Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. EST right here on this channel. That's going to be it for now, but if you liked this video, please do give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell. It helps me so much and if you can leave me a comment, it also does help with the YouTube algorithm. I appreciate that. Even if it's just an emoji, a thumbs up, a pen, a laptop, any of those will work and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye friends. Oh. That's a cute look. Oh god. What? What in the hell?